Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Station, today, chums? It's a cup of tea with Captain Steve. And what am I talking about? Palwell. You probably guess because there's a big freaking picture right behind me, people. But yes, I've got some more Palwell D news. Let's uh, let's jump on over onto the old Tinterwebs webs and let's show you. So we are over on the old Twitterverse, people. If I scroll on down on here a little bit further, you can see here just 19 hours ago this happened. So yeah, they stuck out a brand new. Trailer. If I make it larger. There you go. It's got some music playing. I don't know where it's copyrighted, so I just muted it for a second. But a lot of all of this, we've already seen a lot of this footage inside of the PAL decks. If you don't know what I'm on about when it comes to PAL decks, over on their own YouTube channel, they've got all the PAL decks showing all these different creatures that you can see being captured, located here, and put to work at base making and all sorts of other stuff. If you haven't seen any of the PAL deck, and if this is new to you, I'll put a link up there to one of their PAL decks, one of my favourite ones. Go hit that up, and then from there you'd find their channel. But you can see here the release date is January 19th. January 19th, which is pretty soon. Yeah, it's the 10th now. Nine days away, people. Nine days away, and this game is going to be dropping on Steam in early access. But not only that, people. Let me show you something a little bit more tantalizing as well. So we go. Let's just pause that for a second. On here, I'm fairly sure they said that it's also coming to Xbox Game Pass. Ooh, up to 32 players at once. Pretty nice. I'm learning something new about this all the freaking time, people. But yeah, apparently it's coming to Games Pass as well. Now, I'm going to be jumping over and seeing if I can purchase it on Xbox. I don't really... I'm not subscribed to Game Pass, but here we go. Power will be available to play day one with Game Pass for Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Windows on January 19th at 0, 0, 00 hours Pacific Standard Time 2. Okay, so I don't know whether that means it's going to be on the Xbox Store. I don't know whether I can purchase a it. I don't think I'm going to be able to run it via Steam and capture it at the same time successfully so i'm waiting for the play for the actual xbox release but at least then i get to see some of the early reviews of this and see who's jumping in and who's picking it up and playing being that this isn't coming to playstation it's not across all platforms which is a bit of a shame on this one i think they've missed a trick with that to be fair on the rollout of this one people inside the view of us Anyways, I am thoroughly excited for Pal World. I really am. Here you go. I'll jump on over to their old uh, YouTube channel. I'll show you their YouTube channel anyway. We could always watch one of their Pal decks. Uh, yeah, Pal World. Lovely jubbly. And we go over to Pocket Pair. This is their channel here, people. This is their channel that I was on about earlier. If I scroll on down a little, and we're just hit on up. This one, this is one of their latest mm, PAL ones, but this this is a really good video, that one. That's a really good video, that one. Anyway, uh, actually, this one, three days ago, three days ago, we'll go with this one. Let's, actually, I haven't watched this one. We'll go with that one. You can see all the ones I have watched. They've got red bars on. I haven't watched this one yet. So we're watching this together. The music's a little bit crazy, a bit techno, isn't it? Techno, 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 techno. Yeah. Sometimes I think these creatures look freaking awesome. I think they look just as interesting, if not more interesting, than some of the latest Pokemons. I mean, some of the latest Pokemons these days, it looks like they've just got a freaking rock and stuck some eyes on it. And so there you go, there's a Pokemon. It's like they've got really freaking lazy at Pokemon. This looks like they've put a bit of thought into these creatures. And I'm, I'm loving the whole fact that you've got to shoot them with machine guns and rocket launchers and all that sort of shenanigans. And I like the fact that when you capture them, it's not just that you're going to use them to battle other creatures. No, you can go and build a base and you can put these guys to work in your own little mini labour camp. Don't worry, pals don't have labour laws, apparently. This is what's written on the actual Steam page. Freaking awesome stuff. Anyway, people, this looks like it's right up my street and it looks funny as fudge. It looks like they've got a bit of a sense of humour, the developers of this one. One. So yeah, I'm I'm eager to get in and play this one. People inside of the viewerverse, it has to be said. I know it's quite bright and colourful and looks a little bit sort of kitty friendly, but it's not because you know you're shooting these dang things. In fact, one of their shorts videos actually shows them slicing and dicing one of these poor little freaking sheep characters. I'll see if I can find it. One sec. Okay, people. Yes, I have found it. Let's just jump on over and let's do a little mini like sort of like look at this one. Here we are. Click fray on this. <laughs> uh, 
There you go. Give it a little shave. Yeah, you don't want that in your gob, do you? Just slice off its arms and legs. Lovely jubbly. Yeah. Brilliant. Bon appetit. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, cool. Oh, no. It's the small things, people. It's the small things. Yeah, so there we go. So that's Powell in a nutshell. I really don't know what to overly expect with this one. I'm jumping in for a bit of fun. And I think it's, it's going to have oodles of fun. It's just a shame that it's not on PlayStation and perhaps the Nintendo Switch and other platforms. It's, it's just the Microsoft ones. For now, I guess. But then again, if you look at Craftopia, the other game they made, that hasn't touched any of the PlayStation or PSN platforms or even, I don't even think it's on Switch. But anyway, people, salute to Mondo. Thank you for watching and i see you again soon. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.